Welcome everybody, my name's Alex and this is my Honda VFR 500 1985. It's, uh, I just picked it up used off of Craigslist and I'm hopefully going to be uh, converting this into an electric motorcycle um, in the coming months. And if I'm lucky, I'll remember to keep videoing and make taking pictures so that people can see what I'm doing. Um, so anyway, this is a 85 VF 500. It's a sport bike, obviously. Uh, I picked it up used off of Craigslist. It's a little bit on the trash side. Um, you know, I got it for actually a pretty good price. Uh, but then I've um, come to realize that it was missing a few parts. So, um, you know, mirrors and turn signals and some of the plastics. I actually knew about all that, but it seemed like a good deal at the time. It actually probably still was a good deal, although maybe not quite as stellar as I had once thought. No worries though. Um, let's see, uh, I've been planning on making this an electric motorcycle. That should be kind of fun. Um, this, I, I got a 500 class size sport bike because a 500 seemed like it would be easy, um, big enough to put the batteries that I want to put in it, um, yet not, uh, yet not too heavy, which is a big problem. Um, for electrics. Let's see. So back here, when things get all said and done, um, I'm going to be putting a motorcycle class hub motor from Enertrack. Um, I found these up on Endless Sphere, endless-sphere.com on the forums, um, and now off the Enertrack website. They're basically a lot like the hub motors that are on bicycles these days, except much bigger. Uh, it's a 10 kilowatt. Um, motor. Uh, by putting using a hub motor, I'm hopefully going to be able to put more batteries in the frame here. So all in this area where the motor is right now, I'm hoping to be able to put batteries. I have 36 Thunder Sky 60 amp hour um, batteries on order. Uh, that's kind of a tall order to put that many in, in the bike. I'm not sure I'll be able to pull that off. If not, hopefully I'll be able to put a few in saddlebags in this area here. But we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, it's uh, this, is, this bike is obviously it's a 1985, so it's about 23 years old. It's obviously seen a lot of wear. Um, it's got about 26,000 miles on it. It's uh, pretty pretty significantly faded, as you can see. Let's see what else have we got. Um, you know, I think it's a pretty nice looking bike. Uh, not being much of a motorcycle guy to begin with, uh, you know, what do I know? But we'll see. Uh, Let's see, what else? Hmm, here's the instrument panel. Let me get this in focus here. There we go. It's got about 26,000, 26,500 miles on it. Here's a, another look at the rotors. They're full solid rotors. You know the plastics on this bike are a little bit ma mangled, but eh, we'll make do with what we can here. The uh, windscreen is obviously not in the best shape. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully we can clean it off. Anyway, like I said, this is my uh, my hopefully new uh, electric motorcycle in a couple of months. Hopefully when spring rolls around, it's now in the fall, fall of getting towards the winter of 2009. And uh, we'll see it. So anyway, thanks for watching and I uh, will uh, talk to y'all later. See ya. Bye.